So let's figure out why drugs that are weak acids or weak bases, why they become lipophilic when they're injected in certain environments. And that is all going to be based off the derivation of the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. When you do the math, ultimately, you end up with this. You end up with 10 to the pKa minus the pH power is going to equal whatever drug you're talking about with its hydrogen bound over just the drug without the hydrogen by itself, that ratio. Now what does that mean? Well, this could be two different things, right? If we are a weak acid, right, the weak acid will say that this form would be the AH, the acid bound to the hydrogen form over the acid form, and the acid form by itself is charged. Or if we're talking about a base, it would be the basic form with the hydrogen, which becomes charged, over the basic form, which is uncharged. So you can see how an acid, the charge would be in the denominator, and for a base, the charge would be in the numerator. So figuring out these questions, it's imperative to know, are you injecting a weak acid or a weak base, or are you eating a weak acid or a weak base? And we'll do a couple examples here. So let's say we're looking at aspirin. And there's a reason why you want to take aspirin and ingest it into the stomach, and I'll show you why. Now the pKa of aspirin, right, is roughly, we'll say, 3 usually. Now the pH of the stomach can be anywhere between 1 to 5, but we're going to pick 1 here. Now as aspirin is also a weak acid, so you have to know what kind of a drug you're dealing with. And we're going to take this and place it into a pH of 1. So all we have to do is look at this formula, and you'll go right every single time. So if I say, ultimately, this is going to be equal to 10 to the 3 minus the 1 power, right, the pKa minus the pH power, the pH that I'm placing it in, is going to equal the ratio of drug bound to hydrogen versus the ratio of drug that is not bound to hydrogen. And in this case, it's a weak acid, so it's going to be the acid bound to the hydrogen over the acid not bound to the hydrogen. And we know that for a weak acid, if it is not bound to hydrogen, it's charged. So in this case, we have 10 to the 2 power is equal to the ratio of the acid bound to hydrogen over the unbound charged acid. And so 100 is equal to AH over A minus. And we can say that 100 molecules of the aspirin, when ingested into the stomach, will be uncharged. And since it's uncharged, it can pass through lipid membranes and be absorbed easily versus every one molecule that is charged and doesn't pass through lipid membranes very easily. So that is why you take aspirin through the stomach. Now, let's take a look at a different example looking at a weak base. Let me get rid of this. Now, weak bases, in many instances, uh, local anesthetics are weak bases. So we'll do a local anesthetic uh, example. And the one we'll look at is chloroprocaine. So chloroprocaine is a weak base, and it has a pKa of roughly 9.1. Now we're going to inject it, excuse me, we're going to inject it into the um, into the body, all right? And just for this particular example, we'll say that injecting it into the body, the pH is 7.4, right? Physiologic pH. All right, so this is a weak base. So the derivation of Henderson-Hasselbalch says that 10 to the pKa minus the pH power is going to equal the ratio of drug bound to hydrogen over the ratio of drug that is not bound to hydrogen. And since this is a weak base, the drug bound to hydrogen will actually be charged, and the drug that is not bound to hydrogen 
will not be charged. So if we say 10 to the 9.1 minus 7.4, 10 to the 9.1 minus 7.4 is going to equal the ratio of drug that is bound to hydrogen over the drug that is not bound to hydrogen, right? And in this case, since it's a weak base, the drug bound to hydrogen is charged and the drug not bound to hydrogen is not charged. So 10 to the 1.7 power will equal our base bound to hydrogen over our base that is not bound to hydrogen. And roughly, right, we'll just, just for this example, it's not correct, we'll just call this 2. So we'll say 100 is equal to the number of charged drug molecules over the uncharged drug molecules. And chloroprocaine, right, when injected into the body, is going to be more unionized than it is ionized. You're going to have a hundred molecules that will be charged and hard to pass membranes versus every one molecule that is uncharged. I hope this was useful. If you have any questions, send me an email at armygas at gmail.com.